Hey, imagine if Donald Trump talked about his supporters in a way that he made it clear that he didn't like them at all, that they disgusted him, that he didn't want to shake hands with them. And he made fun of them about how that no matter what he did, they gave him money. No matter what he did, they continued to support him. And he laughed about it. He laughed about it. About how he was able to get over on them so much that no matter what he did, they would still give him money. They would still vote for him. Well, that's exactly what he did. And I hate to say it, Patriots. I mean, I know we love him. I mean, we love him. We adore him. He'd never do us wrong. Well, now then that he's not the president and people are out there making their book deals and, you know, uh, they used to kiss his ass too. Now they're wanting to tell the truth. And it turns out that's exactly what he used to do when, you know, in, in his meetings and stuff. Um, he would make fun of all of us, all of us that give give him all the money all the time and give him our votes and we adore him. And, you know, we'd SSD, you know what I mean, Patriot? Yeah, y'all would SSD, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, he made fun of us. Is that enough? Is that a, is that a line that he crossed? Is that going too far? I mean, it wasn't enough for Ted Cruz or Lindsey Graham or anybody that anybody like that. But is that enough for us to know that, that he, he makes fun of us and he hates us, he despises us, but he takes our money and he takes our vote? What if we knew that? What if there was an audio recording of him saying stuff like that? Would we still support him? I bet we would. I bet we would. But you know why? Because we're cowards. And what it comes down to is that we don't really care about Donald Trump. He was just the the vehicle that we needed to be able to shout our racism and our xenophobia and our homophobia and our misogyny and all that. We just needed him to, to be there so that we could exercise that for one last time. Inmate Trump 2024.